Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you uh, this early afternoon on Tuesday. Look, uh, if you've been watching my morning motivational uh, installments, then you are probably aware of the fact that I've joined forces with Body by God on the East Coast. And the goal when I when I contacted them, uh, the goal was to impact one million people through the course of 2019. And I wanted to get started early. We had connected to do uh, a no excuses webinar and a 30 day no excuses challenge. So we're going to move into this 2019 thing on fire. But I also want to invite everybody to join in the Body by God, the Vision Ethics Institute's uh, No Excuses 30 Day Challenge. And no matter where you're at, uh, you can get started. It's an ongoing thing. And the beautiful thing about this is we're not just saying, hey, pick something and do a 30 day challenge on it. We're going to give you a list of things that you can pick. You can decide third one, two, or three things that you want to work on and change in your life over the next 30 days. Then we give you a game plan that will show you the basic steps to uh, follow over these 30 days that will help you create these shifts in your thinking, shifts in your behavior, shifts in the way you set up and start your day, move through your day. All of these things are out there. And there are these, you know, exercises and micro exercises and macro exercises that you can engage each and every day that's going to train you how to behave in certain situations. It's going to give you certain ideas, certain thoughts, certain behaviors that you are able to practice daily that are going to contribute to you being more impactful, more successful, more focused, on and on and on. Things that are going to ultimately lead to your success. I'm real excited about this because this is something everybody can participate in. The game plan is absolutely free. There's a link in this video that you click. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it'll take you to the uh, No Excuses Challenge uh, website that we have set up. You simply enter your email in. We'll email you out uh, or you can download uh, the game plan and you just follow the game plan for the next 30 days. And the thing is, the way that I contributed to this is the importance of consistency. And so when you start this 30 day challenge, there have to, there has to be some, uh, some uh, parameters of engagement, some things that you have to commit to doing every day. Here's the thing, the things that you commit to doing every day, if there's a day that something happens and it happens to the best of us, where you get thrown off in this 30 day period and you don't do it, you've got to start over. Why? Because you need 30 consistent days of doing this every single day to develop a habit, solidify it, and inculcate it into your psyche. So it's 30 straight days. If you miss a day, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself of it beat yourself up over it, get into it. Now, what I'm gonna tell you about is just one of the exercises, one I absolutely love because it doesn't take a whole lot. It's actually an unbelievable practice. And it's simple. The exercise says for the, for the next 30 days, make sure throughout the day you have a correct posture, meaning that you're sitting up straight, your back is straight, your shoulders are squares, and your head is held, held, held it. Your head is held up. Now. You, while that's going to help you in posture, while that's going to help you from a physical perspective, the impact and the benefits on a mental, emotional, and psychological level are uh, astronomical. That's this thing called embodied cognition. Embodied cognition is the reverse of what most people say. Most people understand that what's happening in your brain impacts your body. You know, we talk about psychosomatics. We mostly talk about the fact that the brain is impacting the body, that the levels of stress in the brain will impact the body and vice versa. Well, there's also this thing called embodied cognition, which is the reverse, where your body can literally impact the mind and the body, the, the body does all the time. We're just not aware of it. And in, 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 the, in the most simplistic way that the body impacts the mind is that the body has a memory as well. So when the body is in a certain state in communicating with the brain, the, 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 the position you're in is indicative of a certain mindset. So say, for instance, you're having a bad day. Something went wrong. You got some bad news. You're kind of feeling down. It happens to everybody. You know, you, you got hit two or three things in a row that's not working out for you. Well, what happens is if you sit up and you square your shoulders and you hold your head up, it automatically sends a message to the brain that you're in control. It sends a message to the brain that you're confident. 
it sends a message to the brain that establishes an emotion of security, an emotion of, uh, of, of confidence, an emotion that is not indicative of how you're actually feeling at the moment. And ultimately, the brain will release chemicals that will create the new mood. And so you can literally get yourself out of a funk by your posture. Why? Because over the years, you've had all types of different experiences that created all types of emotions. And your body responded to those emotions in a certain way. When you're feeling down, disappointed, frustrated, you probably got your head down, your shoulders are probably slumped, and a couple of other things that, you know, you can see in facial expressions or whatever. So, you know, there's power in a smile. Why? Because a smile is automatically going to communicate to the brain that everything's good, that you're happy, that there's something to be uh, uh, enjoyed or liked or happy about. And so when you sit up straight and you square your shoulders and you, you, you hold your chin up and you, 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 know, you look forward, there's a message being sent to the brain that when I'm in this posture, this is how I feel. This is what's going on. Now, at first, the brain is going to say, this isn't the reality that I just experienced. This has just happened. But what happens is if you force yourself to hold that posture, the brain will comply. And so when you do this all the time, when you make it a point to sit up straight, you're communicating consistently to your brain that you're in control. You're communicating consistently to your brain that you, you, you're going to work through whatever's in front of you. And so the down feeling, the lowering of frequencies doesn't take place. When you sit up and you square your shoulders, you sit up straight, you have a, an upright and erect posture. What you're doing is you're elevating your frequency. You're elevating your vibration. You're ele elevating the state in which you are operating and existing at that moment. That is one of the most powerful things, and that's why I chose this particular exercise to talk about first. We're going to talk about all of them over the course of, the, let's say, the next, what, 30 days? Well, we, you know, we're going to get to them, and we're going to talk about them, but I, I wanted to bring this one first because it's, to me, one of the easiest things you can do. You don't have to think about it. It's not what's happening. It's not what you're thinking about. It's what you have decided will be. That's what I love about this posture, this embodied cognition thing. That's why I focus and I teach it to my clients. Why? Because I don't care what's happening. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what your mind is even saying right now. I'm saying I can tell my body through willpower. You will sit upright. You will sit erect. You will hold your chin up. There is literally a whole lot of truth in the old saying when someone comes uh, up to you or encounters you and you're having a bad day and you're feeling kind of down and they say, hold your head up. They didn't understand it then, but there's something about holding your head up. Think about it. Try it. The next time that you're having a, a rough day and you're feeling kind of down, force yourself to hold your head up and see if you can still feel down. Hold your head up erect. There's a signal being sent by the body to the brain that says, I got this. It's going to be okay. And it's impossible after the, insure, the assurance of this uh, posture or this positioning of the body that, that it's impossible for the brain to sit up and stay down. You have to either decide I'm not going to hold my head up or that mood will change. See, the, way you, the only way you defeat yourself, you say, you know what, I just don't feel it, and you let it down. But if you can hold your head up and you hold it up long enough, you refuse to take a position or a posture of defeat, you will start feeling it victorious. It's unbelievable. It's one of the quickest ways to get yourself out of a funk. Sit up straight, hold your head up, and, 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 and dare smile. Everything starts to get smaller when you sit up straight. Everything starts to come into focus when you sit up straight. Problems start to shrink when you sit up straight. So that's my thing. Make that one of the things that you decide to do. You get to choose some things you're going to focus on. There's a lot of exercises there. We don't expect anyone to be able to grab all of those exercises and make it a part of this 30-day challenge. We're going to be doing 30-day challenges for the next year. So you just jump in where you fit in, start your challenge. Get When you, when you complete one challenge, give yourself a high five and just set a starting date for the next challenge. Pick three more things and go after it. But the idea is to be better every month than you were the previous month. And instead of just sitting up saying, I'm going to improve, now you've got some things you can focus on. Now you've got a way to measure yourself. You know if you're doing it every day or not. If you're not, don't beat yourself up, but challenge yourself. I've got to be better at what I eat every day. I've got to be better when I eat every day. I've got to be more consistent in my workouts. 
I've got to be more consistent in the activity. See, we live in a sedentary world right now. We live in a sedentary world where most people who are professionals are sitting at a desk for long periods of time. I am one. And it's so easy to just sit there. You got to get up. If there's nothing, get up and, and, and put something you're going to need at a distance. So you're forced to get up over and over again. Every time I shoot a video, I got to get up, go get the light. Every, every time uh, I need uh, to write something, I got to get up and go to the board. Uh, then I make it a point to get up at a certain period of time and go upstairs just for the heck of going upstairs. Then I come back down. Then I'm going to do a morning walk. Then I'm going to do some workout. Then I have the days that I get to the gym. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating activity instead of allowing my work style to dictate my lifestyle. See, my work style, I'm, re I'm forced to sit in front of a computer or read a book or whatever, study, even when I'm counseling and working with my clients, I'm sitting. So I have to find ways to make myself active. So I don't want just when I go to the gym to be the only time I'm active. I want to be moving. I want to find things to do. So, you know, I, I run errands to the store and you know, like you went to the store for this. Why are you still there? Cause I'm walking. I'm in the store. I'm gonna walk every aisle. I'm gonna look at every, why? Because you, there's so many different ways that you can be active outside of traditional and conventional thought. Uh, of what's active, but you've got to be active because your heart needs you to. And and, and also your, your your moods need you to. The more active you are, the more the body releases dopamine, the more you feel good about yourself, the more confident you are. And that translates into energy at a higher frequency. All of this stuff works together. So that's it for today. I just wanted to stop by. The link is there. What I want you to do is actually click the link, go there, Order your free uh, uh, No Excuses 30-Day Challenge game plan and get it. Determine which one of these exercises or, or which three. Pick one, two, or three, whatever it is. But pick something that you're going to stick with for 30 days and over the next 30 days make it happen. And I guarantee you, when you start getting to around week, uh, week two, day 10 through 14, you'll start to see the difference and the change and how easier it, it's becoming. By the time you get to day 21, you're pretty much in habit mode. Now you're starting to do it because it's just there and you're going to do it. And by the time you get to day 30, it's locked in. And then you move on to the next thing because you're going to continue to do that thing until you find something that's going to pull you away for it, from it for 21 days, 30 days, and break the habit. But you don't do that. You consistently push forward. And that's how you accomplish things. That's absolutely nothing that cannot be done if you set your mind to it. And like I say, I love this body cognition thing of just sitting up straight, you know, an erect posture and the thing it does for you mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. So that's what I want you guys to focus on. Stay in, stay, stay uh, uh, tuned in you know, as we make more announcements, but get in where you fit in. This thing is ongoing, 30 days. Start yours today. Tell your family, friends about it. Get them excited about it. You can move into 2019 with momentum, already changing you know, your dynamic, already changing your expectations, already changing so much about who you are. Make it happen. This is my challenge to you. This doesn't cost you anything, so there's absolutely no excuses. And I mean, this is something that goes along with behavior, so there's always time for it. You're just simply committing to do something. It, whatever it is, 30 days changes your life. With that being said, I'm getting out of here. I'm excited about it. We're excited about what we're doing at Body by God and at the Visionetics Institute. And we're going to keep things moving. We're challenging you to keep things moving. We're challenging you to live life at the level of your design. That should be your goal. Not sitting up and meandering through the maze of mediocrity, not sitting up just posted up at the pool of popularity, not just sitting up chilling and, 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 and enjoying where you are planted, but deciding that you're going to live life at the level of your design, and that you're going to push yourself to the edges of what you believe you're capable of to discover you're capable of much more. With that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. As I always say, Live your life on full so that when you leave this place, you die on E. That's the challenge. With that being said, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. Peace.